Have you ever wondered how the rich get richer? An intriguing question, isn't it? It might seem like a mystery, but the formula is quite simple. They make money from money. Yes, you heard it right. The wealthy do not just sit on piles of cash. They channel it into ventures and opportunities that generate more wealth. This concept, often referred to as making your money work for you, isn't just a myth. It's a reality, a lifestyle even, that's achievable through smart decision-making and strategic planning. It's about understanding the rules of the game and playing it better than anyone else. But how does one go about doing this? How can you turn your hard-earned cash into a money-making machine? Well, that's exactly what we're going to explore today. We will dive into the specific steps that can help transform your financial status. Today, we will break down the process of making money from money, step-by-step, -step, scene script. Firstly, we must understand what money really is. Imagine you're holding a $100 bill in your hand. What do you see? A piece of paper with some ink on it? Well, yes, but it's so much more than that. That bill is a tool, a means to an end. It's not the goal in itself, but rather the vehicle that can get you to your destination. Money, in its simplest form, is a medium of exchange. It's a language that we all understand, no matter where we come from or what language we speak. It allows us to trade goods and services and to store value for the future. But money is not just about buying and selling. It's also about growth and opportunity. It's a tool that can be used to build businesses, to invest in ideas, to create jobs, and to drive innovation. It's a tool that can be used to make a difference in the world, to help those in need, and to leave a lasting legacy. Financial literacy is crucial in today's world. It's not enough to just earn money. You need to understand how money works, how to manage it, how to invest it, and how to invest it, and how to make it work for you. Understanding the difference between assets and liabilities, between income and expenses, between risk and reward. It's about understanding the power of compound interest, the importance of diversification, and the potential of passive income. And yet, financial literacy is often overlooked in our education system. We're taught how to read and write, how to do math and science, but not how to manage money. That's why it's so important to educate ourselves, to seek out knowledge, to learn from those who have been successful, and to apply what we've learned to our own lives. So next time you look at that $100 bill, see it not as a piece of paper, but as a powerful tool. A tool that, if used correctly, can open doors, create opportunities, and change lives. Remember, money is not the end goal, but the means to achieving whatever you aspire to. So money is not just a piece of paper, but a powerful tool if used correctly. Now, let's talk about the power of investment. Have you ever wondered how the rich continue to grow their wealth while the rest of us seem to struggle? The secret lies in one simple yet powerful concept, investment. Investing can be your secret weapon, your golden goose, your path to financial freedom. So what exactly is investment? Simply put, investment is the act of putting your money into an asset or venture with the expectation that it will generate an income or appreciate in value over time. It's like planting a money tree today and reaping the fruits tomorrow. Investments come in various types, each with their own risks and rewards. Some people prefer to invest in the stock market, buying shares of publicly traded companies and hoping their value will increase. Others may opt for real estate, purchasing properties to rent out or sell at a higher price in the future. Then there are those who invest in bonds, lending their money to companies or governments in exchange for regular interest payments. But why is investment so important? Well, it's simple. When you invest, you're essentially making your money work for you. Instead of trading your time for money, you're letting your money do the heavy lifting. Over time, your investments can grow and multiply, creating a snowball effect that can lead to significant wealth accumulation. Now, here's the best part. Anyone can become an investor. You don't need a fancy degree or a six-figure salary to start investing. You just need some basic knowledge, a bit of patience, and a willingness to take calculated risks. The rich understand this concept well. They know that investing is not just about making more money. It's about creating a sustainable source of wealth that can outlive them and provide for their future generations. Remember, investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It requires time, 
patience and a solid strategy, but the rewards can be immense. It can bring financial security, freedom, and even a legacy that you can pass on to your children and grandchildren. Investing is one of the most effective ways to make your money work for you. A key to successful investing is diversification. We often hear this phrase when it comes to investing, but what does it really mean? Diversification, in a nutshell, is a risk management strategy that combines a wide variety of investments within a portfolio. The rationale behind this technique is that a portfolio of different kinds of investments will, on average, yield higher returns and pose a lower risk than any individual investment found within the portfolio. Think of it as not putting all your eggs in one basket. It's about spreading your investments across different financial instruments, sectors, and regions. This way, if one investment doesn't perform well, you're not putting your entire portfolio at risk. It's like having a safety net for your investments. But how does diversification work exactly? Well, imagine you have a portfolio that consists entirely of stocks from the tech sector. If the tech sector crashes, your portfolio would take a significant hit. However, if you had diversified your portfolio to include stocks from other sectors, bonds, and maybe even some real estate, the impact of the tech sector crash on your portfolio would be less severe. This is because these other investments are not directly tied to the tech sector and may perform well even when the tech sector is struggling. Diversification also increases the potential for returns. While it's true that diversification can smooth out the risks, it can also provide opportunities for greater returns. By investing in a variety of sectors and financial instruments, you are giving yourself more opportunities to catch the wave of a booming sector or a profitable investment. Remember, diversification is not about chasing the hot tip for the day. It's a long-term strategy designed to protect your investments from the volatility of the markets and to ensure you have a well-rounded portfolio that can weather the ups and downs. The key takeaway here is, don't put all your financial eggs in one basket. Instead, spread them out. The more diversified your investments, the less the impact if one of them doesn't pan out. Diversification is not just about spreading risk, it's about maximizing potential returns. Another secret of the wealthy is generating passive income. Now, what is passive income? Imagine sitting at home, sipping a cup of your favorite coffee, and the money just keeps rolling in. Sounds like a dream, right? But it's not. That's passive income. It's when you earn money with minimal activity through a variety of ventures, which require little daily effort or upkeep on the individual's part. Think of it this way. There are 24 hours in a day, you work, perhaps, eight to nine hours a day. But what if you could earn money for all 24 hours? That's the magic of passive income. It's the concept of making money round the clock, all year round. Now let's talk about why passive income matters. It's simple. It's about financial security. Relying on one source of income, like your job, is a bit like putting all your eggs in one basket. It's risky. If something happens to that one income source, you're left high and dry. But if you create multiple streams of income, you're spreading the risk. You're not dependent on one source for your livelihood. If one stream dries up, you've got others to fall back on. And the best part, some of these income streams could be passive. So you're making money even when you're not actively working. But here's the catch. Passive income doesn't mean no work. It's not about getting something for nothing. It's about investing time and money upfront to set up the income stream. Let's say you write a book. You put in the work to write and publish it, but once it's out there, you earn royalties every time someone buys it. It's work upfront, but then it's passive income. Or consider investing in real estate. You buy a property, rent it out, and then earn rental income every month. Again, it's work upfront, but then it's passive income. Passive income is about making your money work for you even when you're not working. It's about creating a safety net, a cushion that allows you to live more comfortably. And who wouldn't want that? Let's not forget the magic of compound interest. Now you might be asking, what exactly is this magic we're talking about? Well, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill, gathering more snow and growing bigger and bigger as it goes. 
Imagine you have $100 and you decide to invest it in a savings account that offers a 5% annual interest rate. At the end of the year, you'll have an extra $5 in your account. That's simple interest. But here's where the magic happens. The next year, you'll earn interest not just on the original $100, but also on the $5 you earned in interest. So you'll have $110.25. And the process continues year after year. Your savings are not just growing, they're growing at an accelerating rate. That's compound interest. The beauty of compound interest is that it requires two simple ingredients, time and patience. The longer you leave your money to grow, the more powerful the compounding effect becomes. It's like planting a seed and watching it grow into a mighty tree. Compound interest can significantly boost your wealth over time, particularly if you continue to add more funds to your investment. It's like a powerful engine that keeps chugging along, steadily building your wealth while you sleep, while you're on vacation, or while you're busy with other things. It's the closest thing to a magic money tree that you'll ever find. So the next time you have a little extra money, think about investing it and let the magic of compound interest do its work. It's a simple, effective way to make your money work for you. Remember, Compound interest is not about getting rich quick. It's about building wealth slowly, steadily, and surely. It's about understanding the power of time and the magic of patience. Compound interest is the secret ingredient that makes your money grow exponentially. All this knowledge is useless without action. That's our mantra for today's segment. We've taken a journey together, unraveling the power of money, the importance of investments, diversification, passive income, and compound interest. Yet all these strategies, all this wisdom, will remain but mere theory if we don't put them into practice. Think of it this way. You have the map to a treasure, but you just keep it in your pocket. You know the path, you know the destination, but you refuse to embark on the journey. What good is that map then? Just like that, knowledge without action is like a car without fuel. It's got potential, but without that vital ingredient, it's not going anywhere. Opportunities knock on our doors every day, yet it's our action or inaction that decides the outcome. Consider the stock market, for instance. It's a roller coaster ride with its highs and lows. You've got the knowledge, you've studied the trends, but if you don't take that leap of faith and invest, you're missing out on the potential for great returns. Financial decisions aren't always easy. It's a tricky terrain fraught with risks. But remember, every successful entrepreneur, every self-made millionaire took a risk at some point. They studied, they planned, and then they acted. They took their knowledge and used it to carve a path to success. So it's time to step out of your comfort zone. It's time to make your money work for you. Start investing, start diversifying. If you're unsure, seek advice, but don't let fear hold you back. Because in the world of finance, action truly is key. Every journey begins with a single step. Your financial journey is no different. Whether it's investing in stocks, buying real estate, or starting a side hustle, the first step is always the hardest. But once you take it, once you start, the journey gets easier. Remember, the best time to start was yesterday. The next best time is now. So don't wait for tomorrow, for next week, or next year. Start today your future self will thank you. Scene script, let's recap what we've learned today. We started by understanding money, not just as a means of transaction, but as a tool for growth. We explored the concept of money being a reflection of value and its potential when used wisely. Money in itself is a seed. When sown in the right soil, nurtured with the right knowledge and resources, it can bloom into a tree of wealth. Next, we delved into the power of investment, it's the art of making your money work for you. The key is to invest in assets that appreciate over time, be it stocks, real estate, or even starting your own business. But remember, investing always comes with risks and it's important to do your research and make informed decisions. We then discussed diversification, a strategy used to spread risk. By spreading your investments across a variety of assets, you're not putting all your eggs in one basket. This way, if one investment doesn't perform well, others might make up for it. We also looked at the concept of passive income, the idea of earning money without active daily effort. This could be through rental income, dividends from investments, 
or even royalties from a book you wrote. The beauty of passive income is that it can provide financial freedom and allow you to focus your time and energy on things you truly enjoy. Then we touched upon the magic of compound interest, the process by which the interest you earn on your investments compounds over time, leading to exponential growth. It's a slow and steady race, but the rewards in the end are worth the wait. Finally, we emphasized on the importance of taking action. Knowledge without action is like a car without fuel. It's vital to put into practice what you've learned. Start small if you must, but start nonetheless. Remember, making money from money is not a secret of the rich. It's a strategy that anyone can implement.